Metro Vancouver's Anastas Island Wastewater Treatment Plant is currently undergoing major upgrades for the Stage 5 Phase 1 expansion at the plant. Over 20 projects are part of the work, including this primary effluent channel tie-in. Right now, we're in the middle of a live tie-in in the primary effluent channel. The point of the tie-in is to join the new primary process tanks to the existing plant. Specifically, two shipping containers were stacked and welded together and they were lowered into the primary effluent channel. And the point was to divert the flow through the two sea cans. The space between the shipping containers and the effluent channel wall was sealed, which diverted the flow through the shipping containers. And it also um, left an isolated space on the south side uh, between the containers and the wall that could be uh, made dry. The tie-in is just one part of the Stage 5 expansion project. When all the work is completed, the Anastas facility will be able to serve a population of 1.5 million people, a significant increase over its current capacity of 1.2 million. A lot of planning and coordination and discussion over many months went into completing this job. There's also a seasonal constraint. The work could only proceed in a low flow situation. So there was a lot of coordination with the plant operations as well to make sure that was covered. The tie-in itself was very unique. To have concrete cutting in a live channel it was a very challenging task. The contractor's solution was very clever and provided a safe uh, way to do the job. Now that the shipping containers are in place, the contractor can dewater the isolated space and make it dry that enables them to cut the concrete and open up the connection and tie in both sides. Completion of the Stage 5 Phase 1 is scheduled for 2022. The expansion at Anastas Wastewater Treatment Plant is anticipated to be complete in 2026.